everyone welcome back and in this video let's just go ahead and go over what Next.js really is and why it is needed. So Next.js is a wrapper to speak as of you know in, in the in the simplest terms I would say Next.js is a wrapper around React framework which enables your React code to pre-render which enables your React code to run on the server. What do I mean by that? Well you see when you're working with a React website um, which is just the client side JavaScript code. What happens, the process is that firstly, your client will, down, will download the code from the server, then that JavaScript code would be executed by the browser, and then you're gonna see um, the actual output on the screen, the actual HTML elements and divs and all that. But if you take a look at sites which are built with Next.js, what you're gonna see is that if you go to view source, you could pretty much see all the content within the HTML document itself, right? For example, I can just search this text pre-rendering right here, and this is the H3 tag which we are seeing right now, right? This is statically generated and server-side rendered React applications, and this is what we are seeing. So you see that in this case, in the case of Next.js, the server is actually sending you the HTML itself. But in case of React applications, the server sends you JavaScript bundles, which is then executed by the browsers, and then the uh, the output is displayed to the user. Now, this is one of the many benefits Next.js brings in, but this is the most important one, right? Everything else, you know, zero configuration, fully extensible, static exporting, let's just leave that because that is also sort of pre-rendering only. CSS and JS ready for production, all these are actually possible with just React as well. But with Next.js, with these two features, basically the pre-rendering one, because this is just a um, side effect of that, but because of pre-rendering, it opens a lot of doors for performance, for SEO, for caching, stuff like that, and it is, it is awesome. The only thing which Next.js truly does, which, which makes all the difference, is this thing. That is server-side rendering of React code on the server so that your server actually sends HTML instead of JavaScript bundles on your screen. So this is what Next.js is about in a nutshell. And uh, yeah, that is, that's why I wanted you to have a basic understanding of React because in Next, we'll be following certain practices set by the framework. We'll be following certain patterns, certain design patterns. But for the most part, because we are writing React code itself, the principles, the underlying principles remain same. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you understood the difference between Next and React and why it is needed. Um, we'll come to performance benefits, SEO, you know stuff like that later on in the series because that's technically not related to the coding part directly um, it's more about the user experience and the marketing side of the things but that is very important as well so anyway that's all for this video if you liked it let's just move on to the next one really quick 